Hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking you through my ultimate leg day. So these are the exercises I like to include in my training plan, which I would definitely recommend if you were trying to build your legs and grow your glutes. So I train my lower body three times a week, and when I filmed this, it was one week before I started my cut. So to start off, we have hip thrusts. Hip thrusts are a key glute builder, and I include these with each of my leg sessions. So as you can see in this video, I'm focusing on strength and time under tension. So putting your muscles under tension for as long as possible is going to be key when you're trying to build that area. So in this case, as you can see, I aim to hold the position for around three seconds each rep. And for this day in particular, I did four sets and 10 reps, um, but I tend to aim between eight to 12 reps for each set. Okay, next up we have squats. So I like to squat with the free barbell, but if you aren't as confident or comfortable in the gym yet, opting for the Smith rack or a dumbbell instead will work just fine. So when you're loading the bar, make sure you put the safety clips on just so you feel nice and secure and that you're not going to drop the weight if you can't lift it. As you can see, I'm struggling just a little bit to put the safety clip on. I promise you I'm not that weak, it was just super stiff and just didn't want to go on. Anyways, after about a year of trying, um, I switched it over and went for a different clip. And now we are ready to get started with the squats. Okay, so a couple of hip swings just before I start with the squats to warm my hips up. If you aren't stretching before your workouts, make sure you start because you could be leaving potential gains on the table. And just another note, when setting your bar up for squats, be sure to line it up with your shoulders, so you should not have to rise up onto your toes to de-rack the bar. So personally, I feel like I am very quad dominant as it is, but when I do squat in my training plan, I either do three sets of eight to 12 reps with a moderate to quite heavy weight, or I'll drop the weight down and go for 20 to 25 reps. Again, very similar to the hip thrust, you want to focus on time under tension. So there's no point in doing an exercise if you're going to be doing it super quickly and with poor form. So make sure you're prioritizing those things above anything else. We have Romanian deadlifts, one of my favourites. So first things first, let's tie the hair up, get that out of my face and for now let's just appreciate the view, quite impressed with that. Um, so when you go to pick your bar up to do your deadlifts, you want to make sure that you're bending at the knee so that you're not caving over the shoulders. As you lift up the bar, push through your heels and pull your shoulders back just to keep a neutral spine throughout the set. Again, I know I sound like a broken record, but take your time and perform the exercise slowly. The slower you go means the more time under tension your hamstrings will be. So I like to use a 4 2 one, zero tempo with RDL. So this means four seconds down, two second hold, and one second up. So for Romanian deadlifts in particular, you want to make sure you're hinging your hips backwards, and as you stand up, squeeze your cheeks together, pulling upwards. Next up, we have cable hip abduction slash cable kickbacks. So I'm all matching in my orange shorts and the orange ankle straps, so looking like a little pumpkin. But what I am demonstrating here is a technique which includes both the kickback movement and the abduction movement. So rather than kicking straight back like you would for a normal cable kickback, or straight out to the side like you would for a cable abduction. Instead, you kick diagonally back, which is going to target that glute medius a little bit more, lifting your glutes. So I've also just added in here the typical cable hip abduction, just to demonstrate what that would look like. However, I prefer the cable hip abduction slash the cable kickback, as I feel like I get a little bit more glute engagement with that. Right, now we have glute back extensions. 
So I think this exercise is a bit confusing for a lot of people because what it requires you to do is ultimately lower your and round your shoulders, which goes against having a neutral spine, which is obviously what you want for a lot of exercises. So I have this exercise twice in my training plan. One time I have 15 to 20 reps, three sets, and still going for as heavy as possible. And then the other day I have three sets of 50 reps, which is where I'll still use a weight. However, I'll rest and pause until I get to the 50 reps. Otherwise my hamstrings will just end up dying. As you can see here, you can either do the exercise with a weight or do it just body weight. The main idea is that you really just want to squeeze up with your glute muscles, okay? Rather than lifting up with your back and lifting your chest, you want to squeeze the glutes and get them under tension. Right, so the next few leg exercises are quite quad dominant. However, we, if we perform these exercises in a certain way, we can still get quite good glute engagement. So for the leg press in particular, if you do want to get a bit more hamstring and glute involvement, place your feet high on the foot panel and narrow. Often people are mistaken and place their feet quite wide. However, if you place them high and narrow, you should be getting some very, very good quad, glute and hamstring engagement. Right, you'd think I'd be done now because I've done about a million exercises, but no, we have split squats. So this is Bulgarian split squats where you have the rear foot elevated and you can definitely get some very, very good glute engagement whilst doing split squats. Now the key to this is making sure the knee and the ankle are parallel in line. You do not want the knee caving over the toe, okay? This just really helps with glute engagement and it helps you to really push through the heel to make sure you can involve the glutes as much as possible. When you're performing these, just keep your core nice and tight by sucking in your stomach button and then keep your shoulders back as well. Again, you do not want to be rounding at the shoulders. ultimate leg day I have walking lunges now usually I would have a barbell on my back and I'd be doing three sets of 40 reps meaning 20 reps on each leg which is absolute death I definitely wouldn't recommend but as this video was for content purposes I just didn't feel like writing my legs off for it if you do give it a go try it with a barbell or some dumbbells to completely destroy your legs that is if the other exercises weren't enough already and there we go, so that was my ultimate leg day workout, I hope you guys enjoyed, please like, share and subscribe for more.